Okay, hello. 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 Good evening. Hello. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good night. Hello. Good evening. Okay, remember, uh, cuando entramos es good evening. Y cuando ya nos vamos es good night. Okay, good evening. Saludo de entrada. Okay, good night. It's like, uh, like goodbye. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, that's correct. That's very good. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let me get just upload. Okay. Yes, all volume. Okay, uh, recuerden de mantener apagados los micrófonos, ok. Y este, y cuando se tenga hablar, obviamente lo encienden, ok. Now we have the alphabet. Let me share with you the. Okay, today, this is what we had for today. The, <clears throat> the use of the verb to be, okay, verb to be, okay, in English, right? The verb to be in English is uh, the action of, actually has two forms, right? To uh, the function, the function is in two, in two ways, right? When you say, for example, um, Soy, right? And estoy, right? Because you say, I am. And you say, okay, estoy o yo soy. I am Luis. I am in my house. Okay? That is the, the let's say, the dynamic of this verb. Uh, let me, huh. I'm going to write a little bit just to refresh your memory. Okay, remember I am. Okay, I am Luis, right? This means for yo soy. And I am in my house, okay? This is when you say I am in my house is estoy, okay? Good. You can say, <clears throat> I am happy. Okay, this one can be in two forms, right? Like, uh, Soy o estoy feliz, right? You can say, I am happy. And you can use the two forms. Like, um, I, am, uh, I am sad. Estoy triste, okay. Then this is another one, right? So this is the bird to be. Now, remember that the bird to be has, uh, Three forms, right? Am, um, is, and are. Okay, these are the three forms, okay, that they have. And this is what we are going to see in the video. Okay, so that's why verb to be, ser o estar. Okay, so then I will write it later. Uh, we don't need this one anymore. We close it. Okay, now let's watch the video.
Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which correct. Wait. Let me correct the sound. Response to each pronoun from statements and hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. <clears throat> Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart, you can see the pronoun I. That will be equals to M for the pronouns you, we, and they, you're going to use R. And for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use is. So um, if we look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right-hand right side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is a subject. And as we saw, here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So, for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I. Uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. Okay, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. We're going to say uh, Mario, that's his name. Um, he, then we're going to say he is um, a mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they. Uh, and they are my co workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Uh, and they are my coworkers. Okay, first, uh, before I enter the continuity video, 
Eh, me gustaría saber si hay alguna pregunta, right? About um, my workers. Affirmative sentences. Okay, what you see here is I am. Okay, I am. He is, he is. And they are. Okay, I, ahí están las tres formas del verbo to be. Am, is, and are. Am, is, and are. Eh, am siempre se va a utilizar con I. Okay, I am. Always, always. Eh, is, you can use it with he, with she, and with it. Okay, he, she, and it. And are with we and they. Okay, we and they. Affirmative sentences. Okay, questions in this moment? Porque ya había, después él va a presentar ahorita las preguntas para que vean eso. Lo, y aquí este Samuel, lo que, Samuel, lo que me preguntaba ayer, aquí es donde va a ver cómo cambia la posición de las palabras, right? Para una pregunta. Y lo he dicho ya de otra manera. Estas son afirmaciones. Yo soy Joe. Yo soy un, inglés de, un profesor de inglés. Él es Mario. Él es un mecánico. Él está en el trabajo. Ok. And they are my co-workers. Ellos son mis compañeros de trabajo. My co-workers. No questions? Ok. Voy a continuar. Y si después, si después queda la duda, me pueden preguntar después. No problem. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here <clears> in this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there. How are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes or no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here, because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun okay so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun and that's how you form questions um so look at the example are you stephen carson we move the verb to be before the pronoun you okay so our formula needs to change uh now instead of uh, the subject at the beginning we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning and then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun, okay? And then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change. Okay, as you can see here, right? Subject, vean las formulas, que esta es como la matemática, la gramática, right? Hay una formula, subject, verb, to be, complement, affirmative sentence. For the question, you invert. Okay, invert, se invierte, right? For example, el, the verb to be, pasa al inicio, right? Verb to be, el subject, después del verbo, and the complement. Okay, now look at the examples. Change the order, and that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Yeah, obviously, you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, Am I an English teacher? 
college teacher. All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, ¿cuál sería la siguiente pregunta? ¿Cómo lo harían? ¿Quién le puso el am I an English teacher? And that he is Mario. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? ¿Quién me lo dice? Is he Mario? Yes, Nelly, that's correct. Is he Mario? Is he a mechanic? Is he at work? Okay. Uh, for example, um, is Milagro, are you a mother? Milagro, huh? Uh -huh. Are you a mother? Is are you a mother? Are you are you a mother? He is. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then uh, is okay. La pregunta para el resto de la clase. Is Milagro a mother? Very good. Is Milagro yes. a mother? Yes. Yes. She is. Okay. Yes, she is. is. Ella es mamá, right? Yes. Is Milagro mamá? Yes, she is. Okay. Good. Thank you, Milagro. Now continue with the video. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and I'm going to say, is he Mario? Okay. Okay. There you go. Is he a mechanic? Is is he at work? Are they my co-workers? Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. Okay. Now here uh, you have, for example, the uh, red. So the last one here. Okay, then um, it doesn't let me. Why doesn't it allow me? Add a post here. It's next on the other. Add a post. Okay, for example, here in this box. You know, we can uh, have, for example, my examples. I am Luis, okay. Uh, I am, let's say I am an English teacher. Okay, I am an English teacher. Then you can say he is Enrique. Okay, he is my son. Uh, she is Rella. Okay, she uh, is my daughter. Okay. So you can write some examples, okay? In this one, for example, you can, uh, and then you can have, for example, there's an ad, uh, this one, wait, I mean, this was here. I'm gonna write it down here, Need a larger, okay? A verb, 
to be sentences. Okay. And then you submit. The English. Uh, no, this is not it. It's he. It's Enrique. That's correct. Okay. Then you can say, for example, uh, they are my children. Okay, they are my children. And we are a family. Okay, we are a family. Okay, there is my post. And then you can write your sentences, right? You can write, for example, what, what you think is correct. And then you write your sentences. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. You can do it later and you and you la voy a leer después, okay? You can check some of them. Now let's see the next one. Yes, to see here. Okay, we're gonna see Vanessa. Look at this one says, complete the conversation by filling in the blanks. Okay, so, excuse me, are you, are you Steven Carson? What is the correct form here? No? Is. Is or I am? Is. Is. Are you, are you a Steven Carson? Are you? I am not. Okay, very good. No, I am not. Okay, good. Uh, this is Marta. My name is, my name am or my name are David Medina. My name is. My name is. Okay, good. Perfect. Thank you, Martha. Uh, Reina. Steven is um or. Is. Okay, thank you, Reina. Brandon, number four. Are you, am you, or is you? Are you. Excuse me? Are you. Yes, 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 that's correct. Are you? Are you? Good. Then say, are you, and then we have. Who's here? Wait a minute. Mirna. Mirna Beatrice, number five. Hi. I am Nicole Johnson. He is Nicole Johnson. She is Nicole Johnson. What? Imagínese que el nombre es suyo, ¿ok? Nicole John. I am. I am. I am. Sí. Yes. You can say, no sé si nos va a tomar las contracciones o las, o las completas, pero vamos a ver. I am. The next one. Eh, Jenny. Jenny Bautista. Steven. Here we're going to use... It. It's. Uh -huh. It's. It's nice to meet you. Okay, veamos cómo no fue. 
CC, all right. Perfect. Okay, that is the correct form, okay? Excuse me, are you still in Carson? No, I'm not. Uh, my name is David Medina. Uh, Steven is over there. Are you Steven Carson? Uh, hi, I am Paul Johnson. And Steven, nice to meet you. Okay. Preguntas? Dudas? Okay, perfect. Nice, that's nice, that's nice, nice, nice. The next one that we're going to use is phone numbers. Now we're gonna practice with the numbers. Okay, with the numbers. We'll be able to change phone numbers. Um, Excuse me, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, the one question. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, ¿Por qué será que a mí me cuesta un poco lo que es eh, eso que estábamos haciendo ahorita? Entender un poco lo que es la escritura y la composición. Y cuando usted está pronunciando o hablando, pues más o menos algunas cosas que yo entiendo, pues logro como conformar la palabra o entenderla, aunque algunas palabras no las entiendo. Uh -huh. y, y ya en, en la, así, ya en el texto me cuesta un poquito compre la comprensión. Eh, ¿Y se recuerda de los significados? Digamos, eh, al, al ver la pues, palabra, reconoce el significado. Ajá, o sea, cuando escucho la palabra, yo reconozco el significado. No, independientemente, la independientemente en cualquier lado que esté la palabra, digamos, cuando usted está dando la explicación, más o menos voy entendiendo según las palabras que yo me, me puedo, ¿verdad? Y, pero cuando yo trato de de apegarme a lo que sería la, a lo que usted está explicando, cómo se va a contestar las preguntas y todo eso, como que me cuesta un poquito, no sé, bien, bien confuso eso. Eh, escriba un ejemplo en el chat. De, digamos, esta me quiero ver. Como estos que les puse yo acá. Por ejemplo, aquí puse yo Varias oraciones. I am Luis. I am an English teacher. He is Enrique. He is my son. She's Fiorella. She's my daughter. They are my children. And we are a family. Okay. Uh, if we go to the chat, here, for example, you can say, um, for example, uh, apagen los micrófonos, please. Are you a doctor? Va, esa es una pregunta. Are you a doctor? Hágame usted una pregunta a mí. Eh, ahorita como usted para el teléfono se me hace un poquito difícil la escritura. Okay. Eh, sí, pero lo que la, la consulta es esa, de que ¿Por qué me cuesta, no sé, por qué me cuesta entender más que todo la escritura? Quizás porque por eso, tengo mi lector en español, quizás. Eh, tiene que practicarla, o sea, si es, escritura, si es cuestión de escritura, es cuestión de, eh, como le dijera, de, tener, de práctica. Tiene que practicar, por lo por le decía que escribiera la pregunta, porque de esa manera es como, por ejemplo, eh, muy, o sea, acuérdate que lo primero que nosotros aprendemos en, en cualquier idioma es escuchar y hablar. Un niño, eso es lo que aprende en español, lo primerito se les enseña, ellos escuchan, 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 y hasta de repente a los tres, algunos a los dos, otros a los cuatro años empiezan a hablar. Luego, cuando llevamos a la educación formal, aprendemos a leer y escribir. 
Ajá, es cierto. Okay, entonces, por, eso que, por eso que me está costando a mí lo que es la lectura y escritura de eso. Exactamente. Entonces usted tiene por eso ya tiene que empezar a ver las oraciones, escribirlas, luego hacer todos los cambios, ir haciendo, ir siguiendo eh, mucha repetición, hacer como hacer planas. O sea, recuerda cuando los niños hacen caligrafía para mejorar la escritura, es a puras planas. Porque así es como uno fija en su cerebro el orden de las palabras. Okay, es como uh -huh. las matemáticas. La matemática, usted, entre más ejercicios hace, más se le queda. ¿verdad? Porque es que la, la matemática también es repetición. Es mucho pensamiento lógico, pero de igual manera, para recordarse de los procesos, hay que repetirlos. Si a usted le enseñan, por ejemplo, a, a, a usar un programa de computación, usted dice, ah, si está fácil, yo les decía aquí, aquí, este, y, que, y si está con el instructor a la par, mucho más fácil. ¿Verdad? Porque le ah, esto, ah, sí, va, ya entendí. Venga, uh -huh. no esté solito y entra al programa y va a ser... Se traba ah, todo. Y aquí se era, ¿no? ¿Por qué? Porque no se ha acostumbrado. Siga usando y siga usando y siga usando. Después de una, una o dos semanas, dice, ah, si estás aquí, chacha, y después uno los puede usar. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este, deje de usarlo un tiempo, olvídese de ese programa y después vuelve a usarlo, entonces va a volver a hacer, ay, ¿cómo era esto? Se le van olvidando las cosas. Entonces, el idioma es lo mismo. Si usted ahorita aprende, eh, estudia un año, y después dice, ah, ahorita no me queda chance, voy a descansar otro año. Cuando regrese al siguiente año, va a tener que volver a comenzar o de cero o la mitad de donde había avanzado. Yeah. Porque no, al no practicarlo también se va olvidando. Entonces, el cerebro, acuérdese que el cerebro es muy inteligente también, el cerebro de uno lo que no ocupa lo va desechando o lo va desechando o lo va almacenando ahí al fondo entonces cuando ya uno lo vuelve a retomar y se, se acuerda de tal cosa esto y lo otro entonces así es como funciona entonces, eso es de mucha mucha práctica escribir pero hay que escribirlo y luego leerlo y pronunciarlo eh, en esta plataforma tienen la la ventaja que pueden ver estos videos por ejemplo este video es muy Ilustrativo para esto. You, I guess, hey, I am In order to understand is the subject. Sure. Que era lo que yo les decía uh, al inicio. Aquí. Aquí quiero ver dónde está. Um, I'll show you and I'm going to paste it here. Are you Stephen Carson or the pronoun? Okay. And then it's going to follow. This one changes here. Aquí, por ejemplo, en esta parte del video, es el mejor ejemplo que pueden tomar. Primero va el sujeto, ¿ok? Que es el I, he, she, it, we, you, they. Luego está el verbo am, o is, o are. ¿Ok? Luego aparece el complemento, que puede ser yo, an English teacher, y todo esto. Y estas son oraciones afirmativas. Si usted ya quiere hacer una pregunta, va a invertir el verbo to be al inicio. Que aquí está, mire la fórmula. Verbo to be. Aquí va a poner a um, todos estos que están en medio van al inicio. Y luego los que están aquí en la primera fila, en la primera columna, pasan en medio. Y acá estos que están al final no se mueven. Entonces ya la pregunta es, ¿Am I Joe? Soy Joe. Am I an English teacher? Soy un profesor de inglés. Is he Mario? Es el Mario. Eh, is he a mechanic? Es el un mecánico. Right? And then, and that's how you are. Señor, pero esto es de las mismas que están ahí, es irlas escribiendo. Y luego invirtiéndolas. Y ahí le va poniendo el signo de interrogación. Y ahí le va quedando fijo ya al cerebro. Ah, esta es la oración afirmativa. Esta es la oración negativa, eh, interrogativa. Ok, fíjense, ahorita solo hemos visto la afirmativa y la negativa, y la interrogativa. Más adelante vamos a ver lo que es la negativa. Eh, solo vamos a ver este ejercicio de los números y vamos a hacer un ejercicio oral, un juego, para practicar estas yes no questions. Ok. Estamos. Así de tomar notas, Samuel, ok. Escribir. Eso lo puede hacer en un cuaderno aparte, unos que 10, 15 minutos durante el día, ¿ok? Le va a ayudar mucho. 
Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now we're going to watch this video. Y este es acerca de los números. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give phone numbers. Let's get started by going over the numbers from 1 through 10. Let's listen and repeat. 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Now let's try to practice by reading out the numbers that you see on the screen. Anna Silva. Anna Silva's work phone number is 201 555 24 91 Anna Silva's home phone number is 914 555 27 one four. Anna Silva's cell phone number is eight four five 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 one zero oh, two three. And you get the idea. James Lang phone number. James Lang work phone number is. 800-555-8893. James Lang home phone number is 604-555-2714. James Lang's cell phone number is 250-555-2714. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. For example, my work phone number is 713-695-3539. My cell phone number is, my wife's cell phone number is, you should give at least. Okay, if, if you see here, it says, Ana Silva's work phone number is. Esto que ven acá significa D. El número de trabajo de Ana, de Ana Silva. Silva es el apellido brasileño, right? Es okay, 201-555-2491. Ana Silva's home phone number is 914-555-2714. And Ana Silva's cell phone number is a four five 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 one zero two three. The the easy thing here is uh, that you have to say the numbers basically from one to ten. Okay, es de acordarse del de los números del uno al diez y decir su número telefónico. Okay, for example, my phone phone number is seven five eight three twenty five oh seven. Okay, seven five eight three. Okay, uh, two five oh seven. So that's my phone number. Ten examples and share them in our discussion forums. Okay, so basically, that's the then here you have to write the are you listening? Vamos a hacer los números, pero antes. 
Okay. We're going to have a little game. Yes, no questions. Ok, ven ahí en el chat, hay unos ejemplos, me van a hacer preguntas, todos me van a preguntar a mí, are you, ok, are you an artist, yo ahorita me voy a cambiar el nombre, ok, ya no me llamo Luis, me voy a poner el nombre de una persona famosa, ok, very, very famous, lo voy a, eh, lo voy a anotar acá. Vamos a ver. Van a tener 20 oportunidades. Okay, 20 oportunidades de adivinar mi nuevo nombre. Ok. Solo preguntándome. Just no questions. Ok. Eh, por ejemplo, me va a decir, uh, are you a writer? ¿Es usted un escritor? Are you a mechanic? Are you a doctor? Ok. Got it. 20 oportunidades. 20 chances. Ok. ¿Quién comienza? Vamos. Solo levanten la mano y yo le voy diciendo quién. Solo tienen que hacerme. Ok, adelante. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? No, I am not. Jocelyn. Micrófono, micrófono. Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? No, I am not. Vanessa? Are you a president? Eh, no, I am not. Eh, Brandon? You are an actor. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Reina. Vayan, vayan viendo que ya, 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 ya oyeron. ¿va? Soy un actor. Entonces, ¿Eres ya... tu artista? Are you an actor? Ya me dijo, ajá. Ahí me preguntó Brandon. Are you an actor? Yes, I am. Oscar. Are you uh, an artist uh, de action? Yes, I am. I am an action actor. Martin. Marta. Are you? Are you? Are you architect? No. 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 Un actor. Llevan nueve preguntas. Uh -huh. eh, Nelly. Y luego Daisy. Are you Tom Cruise? Are you? Are you Tom Cruise? Nelly, Nelly, no se le oye. Are you? Tom, are you the... No, 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 era... ¿Y a quién le había dicho? A Daisy le había dicho, ¿verdad? Okay. Ahí, yo... Milagro, Irania, and Jennifer. Are you a policeman? Daisy, okay, Daisy. Are you a policeman? No, I am not. Milagro. Are you Tom Cruise? Eh, no. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. Ese es el tipo de pregunta. Good. Ivania, no, I am not. Are you Batman? No, I am not. <laughs> Are you 007? Uh, 007. No, I am not. Eh, Are you Schwarzenegger? Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, no, I am no. not. Okay. <laughs> ya anda cerca. Okay. Oscar. 
are you Brad Pitt? Are you Brad Pitt? Sí. Muy feo, yeah. pero... <laughs> no, no, I am not. I am not Brad Pitt. Yo, are you William Levy? William, no, I am not Blanca. Milagro. <laughs> yes, Milagro. You Morgan Freeman? Are you Morgan Freeman? No, I am not. But he's an excellent actor. Okay? No, I am not. Eh, Reina. Are, are you Steven Siga? No, I am not, pero lo pensé. Eh, Marta. Are you? Ka, are you Daniel Carru? No, Daniel Carru. No, no, I'm not. Are you Jean Claude Van Damme? No, I am not. Ya andan bien cerca, pero no. Okay, no, I'm not. Ajá, Esperanza. Are you Alexander? No. Alexander. Nice actress. Blanca? Are you Chucky Chan? Chucky Chan? No, but he's a good actor too. Daisy? Are you Leonardo DiCaprio? No, I am not. Action. Action. Vanessa? Okay. Are you Bruce Willis? Are you? Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis? No, I am not. No, I am not. Uh, Are you Donny Depp? Yeah, Donny Depp, no. Oscar? Oscar? Uh, Are you Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris, no, I am not. Uh, Are you Paul Lang? Uh, okay. 80s. From have you been decent? Uh, for example, I have movies. I have movies. I am a boxer. I am a soldier. Teacher. I am a very great teacher. Huh? Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, Samuel. Rocky. Are you Sylvester Stallone? Yes, Samuel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, I am. Okay, good. You see, you find out, you see, yes, no questions. Are you, are you, are you? Okay, and then my answer, yes, I am, yes, I am. Okay, so this is to practice, for example, the question, are you a doctor? Are you an actor? Are you an architect? Um, are you a mechanic? Uh, I don't know, okay, then you can say, for example, if, uh, if you are a famous actor, are you a young actor? Are you an old actor? Okay, then depends on the kind of actor that you are. Okay, no problem. Those are the yes, no questions. Okay, then, for example, uh, Marta. Okay, ahora vamos a adivinar mi nueva. Eh, how do you call this? My new, my new, my new. Um, Profesión, mi nueva profesión, ¿ok? Profesión, ¿ok? Now I am, are you, a, whatever, ¿ok? You ask me. Y estamos practicando vocabulario y estamos practicando pronunciación y estamos practicando la estructura. Ok, let's see. Blanca, tiene la mano levantada. Are you? Are you mechanic? Eh, no, I am not. Are you an engineer? Are you an engineer? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> very fast, very quickly. Okay, good. Now, uh, let me see. Okay, um, guess my, uh, for example, my new, uh, the location, the lugar donde estoy, right? Voy a inventarlo, okay? No, es, no voy a decir que está en mi casa. Mm -hmm. Are you in? Are you in your house? Are you in the room? Are you in the bathroom? Are you whatever? Okay? Vamos a ver. Go ahead. Yes, Esperanza.
Microphone, the microphone, the mic. Are you bibliotech? Are you in the library? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay. Uh, Vanessa? Uh, are you in the school? Uh, no, I am not. Okay. Okay. Are you, uh, okay, Brandon? Brandon. No problem. Are you in the world? Are you at work? No, no, I'm not. Reina. Are you office? In the office? No, I'm not. Uh, Daisy. Are you in the park? Uh, no, I am not. Blanca. Are you beach? Oh, aquí sí está. At the beach. No, I am not at the beach. Okay. Uh, sure. Jenny and then Samuel. Jenny? Are you in the living room? In the living room? No, I am not. Okay. okay. Samuel? Teacher, are you in the classroom? Hey, Samuel. Yes, I am. Ya van dos que me viene Samuel, ¿qué onda ahí? Ajá. Eh, Samuel, estás hackeando la computer, right? You're a hacker. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. It's okay, just kidding. No, 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 no. My, my, listen, my listen in analysis. Yes. <laughs> no, yes, when you say, for, ¿quién dijo school? Alguien me dijo school. Yo le dije que estaba cerca. Right? Y otro me dijo biblioteca. Okay, I imagine in a classroom. Okay, good. Okay, so you see, for example, this is, yes, I am, no, I am not. Are you in the school? Are you in a place, a profession? Different, okay? Now, we're going to practice with the numbers, okay? For example, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, nine and 10. For example, uh, Samuel, what's your phone number? Ah, but wait, 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 wait a minute. What? Wait, 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 un minuto. Solo quiero. Me van, yo le voy a preguntar. Okay, what's. What's your phone number? Okay, no tiene que ser de ustedes, pueden inventarlo, okay? No tiene que ser de ustedes, okay? Okay, los micrófonos, please, solo para que haya interferencia. Okay, then what's your phone number? Yo le digo uno y me dice el número, ¿ok? Yo apunto los números acá que me diga. Ok, Samuel, what's your phone number? Uh, ok. Eh, digo primero el mío completo, el que voy a decir, y después va otro compañero, ¿verdad? Usted, ajá, usted dígame solo su número. Aunque, como le digo, no, puede, no tiene que ser el verdadero, puede inventarse un número. Por cuestión de privacidad, si no lo quieren dar, no hay problema, ¿ok? Para no partir de aquí. Inventa el, el último número, lo que sea. Ok. Como que fuera su número. What's your phone number? Yo vengo y le pregunto, Samuel, what's your phone number? Usted me dice. ¿Qué? My phone number is uh, 78. Phone number, ajá. Uh -huh. 44. 78, 44. Uh, 59. Five zero. Five zero. Okay. It's my number. It's my number. No, no problem. Okay. Okay. So, what's your phone number? Good. Thank you. Now, eh, solo cheque que esos son los números que me dijeron. Right. Good. Then, uh, the next one is Vanessa. What's your phone number? My phone number is seventy four ninety six. 
52, 13. 96, 52, 13. ¿De cuál es tu número? Four. Yes. Right. Four number. Okay. Perfect. Zero, three, seven, 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 Seven four three three. Yes. Six. Okay. Good. Uh, Milagro, what's your phone number? <laughs> Milagro, yes. My phone number. Mm -hmm. Seven. Nine five five four one seven seven. Okay, we good. Nice. Eh, Vanessa, I'm going to show you, right? Yes. Okay. And then uh, Jennifer, what's your phone number? Here's seven two. Seven, four, five, six, nine, five. Nine, five. Okay, good. Next, uh, here. Okay, Brandon. My phone number is seven, four. Hear me? See. Seven, four, seven, six. Five, six, one, three. One, three. Yes. Okay, Adela. My phone is 70, 30, 44, 34. 30. 34. 30, 30, 34, 34. 34. Okay, good. Um, Mr. What's your phone number? Irina Beatrix, what's your phone number? Mirna no me quiere dar su número. Oh. Ok, what's your phone number, Mirna? Mi... My. Mi five. My phone number? Number. Mi, mi five number is... Seven, five. Seven, three, five. Three, three. Three. Oh, wait, wait. Uno por uno. One. Uno por uno. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Five. Five. Three. 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 Ah. Uh, one. Okay. One. Yes. Six. Six. Hey, okay, qué fácil está. Good. Nice. Good. Uh, Jocelyn, what's your phone number, Jocelyn? My phone number is 7193-8422. Good job. Okay, good. Then uh, Lillian. My phone number is 73 Yeah. 8 
Okay, 7387992. Okay. Okay. Good. Marta? Six one six 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 two seven five. Seven five. Okay, good. How complicated is that, right? Uh, Jenny? Uh, my my phone number is seven eight. Okay. Thirty one. Thirty one. Four. Four. Five six. Five six. Uh, falta uno. Seven Two. eight. Four five six. Two. Two. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Reina, the last one. Seven three. Seven three. Six 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 nine 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 uh one and one two one two okay there you go okay so this is the way that we practice you know the a uh, the numbers okay so well Javier Ivania who were missing Madeline Okay, um, but you can see, for example, what's your phone number, and then you can go one by one. Lo pueden decir de uno en uno o en parejas, right? Solo que eh, hay que procurar pronunciarlo bien. Si ven ahí, no tuve muchos problemas para escribirlo, es porque los estaban pronunciando bien, right? So that was the, the part of this. Hay un listening acá que se lo vamos a hacer mañana, pero ya mañana también arrancamos con la sección 2. Porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Ok, sección 2 que es What's This? Eh, mañana vamos a practicar con eh, vocabulario. Ok, vocabulario de objetos. Ok, así que pueden tener varios objetos por ahí cerca que vamos a practicar con remote control. What is a mouse? What is a cap? Ok, different vocabulary. Ok, people. Thank you very much for your time. No siento el tiempo con ustedes. Okay, it's good. Eh, si tienen preguntas, pues ya saben, las, me las pueden enviar por escrito. Or, um, las discutimos mañana en clase, right? So, siempre es bueno que, que guarden ahí en... Eh, escriban, siempre que tengan alguna duda que les aparezca, escribanla y en la clase la pueden hacer, okay? Okay. Eh, eh, okay. Okay, Oscar, no problem. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. Thank you. Good tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Thank you for bye. thank you for the good class. Night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you for your participation. Good. good. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. See you next day. See you tomorrow.